There's a shrine in this game that you guys actually need to not complete. Now, if you've already completed it, it's not the end of the world, but you missed out on a really nice opportunity. It's really, really cool. So there's a shrine over here on the map. So if you go over here, you can go to the Lindor's Brow Skyview Tower, launch up into the air, and try to make your way to this, or you can use like a reverse brick or whatever. Or you, can or you can fly from the Sky Island, use a bunch of energy food, whatever way you want to get here. Find a way to get here. Go to this shrine, the Tonki Shrine. It's combat training archery. And this shrine is extremely overpowered. It's the only shrine I'm aware of that's like this. If I find one that's better than this for this, I'll let you know. Now, what makes this shrine so insane is that there are the construct enemies in here. There's three of them, which is a lot for something like this. And if you don't complete the shrine, then you can loot them and then reset the shrine. And the reason that matters is because these guys drop Zonai charges, which if you've gotten into the Zonai charge set part of the game, trying to get those, you'll realize getting enough Zonai charges is kind of a pain in the butt. It's really annoying trying to get enough. Now there's flux constructs that you can farm, but you can only do it once every blood moon. So even if you know where all the locations are and you have a route mapped out and you go and you get like, you know, 60 of them real fast by killing a few constructs, the easy ones at least. Construct 3s are a nightmare to kill unless you have like end game weapons. Um, then you'll realize how hard it is to get, um, how hard it is to get Zonai charges. So like, I mean, I'll probably make farming routes and stuff for them. But if you have this shrine, there's a guaranteed amount of Zonai charges you can get here, which is, it takes, if you get good at this, you can do this shrine in about two minutes. And the thing about it taking two minutes is because uh, you can't skip the um, the cutscenes. So, uh, it you know, it ends up being about two minutes or so per cycle. But uh, two minutes per cycle, and then that will give you um, three zo um, Zonai charges. And after that, all you have to do is teleport back to the entrance in order to reset it and go back in it again. So this will get you about close to 100 Zonai charges per hour. So you'll go in here, grab the Zonai charge, grab the Zonai charge. If you're running low on bows, you can grab more bows for the next cycle, grab the Zonai charge, and then go to the shrine location again, teleport, go back in and repeat. And like I said, this will get you 100 Zonai charges per hour, guaranteed. No waiting for blood moons, no whatever. It's literally when you need Zonai charges, come over here, get as many as you need, and repeat. Like So it's a really important shrine to have. Now, obviously, late game, there's going to be other alternative options for farming Zonai charges. And there's already like alternate options, but this one is so nice. Like, you, don't, you, know, you don't have to complete this shrine right away. I would highly recommend saving this to be your last shrine, just so that if you ever need Zonai charges and you don't have a good place to farm them, you can just go here and get 100 Zonai charges, up, up to 100 Zonai charges per hour, and then you can go and spend them in order to get Zonai devices or to upgrade your energy pack, things like that. So that's why it's really important, guys. One more time, this shrine is right here on the map. You can get to it probably from this tower. I I, I didn't get it from the tower. I had to use the reverse rock and flew up in the air, but whichever way you want to try to get here, there's a bunch of different ways. You could, you could even fly all the way from this sky island here probably or something. Uh, but there you go, guys. Uh, go to this place, get it, but don't complete it until you're actually ready. Don't complete it until you know of a really insane Zonai farm, Zonai charge farm. And also, I'll be looking for Zonai charge farms, and when I do, I'll post about it and let you guys know. But yeah, so definitely don't do the shrine. It's like the best early game Zonai charge farm that you can do that's consistent. You don't have to wait for blood moons. You don't have to wait for respawns. You just come here and get them whenever you need them. Oh, and by the way, if you need arrows, I mean, this is basically converting arrows to Zonai charges. If you do need arrows, you can just buy them from a bunch. Of, you can buy them from a ton of different vendors. You can just go to Lookout Landing Skyview Tower and buy them or just go check a bunch, a bunch of different vendors all over the map have them. Uh, and if you need rupees, you can always go down here to the Mirarian Shrine and do the mini game up here in order to get rupees. If you need help with that mini game, you can get up to like probably up to about 10,000 rupees per hour doing that. And I have a guide for that in the description of this video if you want to try to find it in my big bunch of links down there. But you can do that to get the rupees to buy the arrows and then come up here and have enough arrows to do get as many Zonai charges as you want. So that's what you can do in order to make sure you have enough arrows. But either way, guys, now you know how to get up to 100 Zonai charges per hour consistently, no waiting whenever you want them in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom.